Okay, so to get us started to learn about um, the design process, I think we're going to look at making uh, annoying sounding things so we can bug the rest of the school. So I thought we could look at a whistle. Now I've got no idea how to make one, never made one before, but I'm going to show you my process on making one. We'll make a really basic one like this um, and we'll 3D print it and we'll just see if it works. Um, don't really know how it'll come out but that's fine and then over the course of maybe the week or so we can actually look at different types of whistles how we can change our design to make different sounds and um, you'll get to, to learn some basics on Fusion 360 but we'll start with a design like this and we'll see how we go it's got a ball inside and what we'll do is try something I've never tried before but we'll try and 3d print the ball inside the whistle um, and see how it goes. Cool, so we're going to look at this basic shape here. So I've opened up Fusion 360 and I've got a new document open. Um, I'm going to create a sketch and I'm going to draw a plane. I'm going to find a plane to draw it on. So that's the ground, that's a side and that's another side, okay? To rotate my screen I am clicking in my mouse wheel and moving my mouse around and holding shift at the same time. Okay, I'll get you caught up on that in the first scenario. So I'm going to create a sketch. I've already done that. I'm going to choose a plane and I'm going to just put it on the floor. And I'm going to start my drawing at the center point because I think it's really important to have a center point. Now I'm just going to look at my whistle and I see that here. It's got a round chamber, so let's do that in our center point. Let's create a circle. Now, how big is it going to be? We've got 40 mil there, so that circle is 4 centimeters. It might be a bit big. Let's try 30 mil. Let's try that and see how it goes. Okay, so I've got one circle. That's the outside of my chamber there. Now, on the top of the circle, straight line, down, straight line pretty much a rectangle shape so let's just try I could use the line tool and I could draw my lines around or I could use the rectangle shape pick it up at the top of the circle and put it like that how does that look probably a bit long so if it's a bit long I can actually pick up my line bring it in and I might make it a bit thinner, so it looks something like that. Cool, so I've got one side of my whistle done. Now to make it 3D, it is actually really, really simple. So I can just click on my extrude button here. Click here, click here, click here. And I could write, say, 40 millimeters and press enter. And I've got a whistle shape. Now it's a bit wide for a whistle, so I'll actually adjust that. To adjust that, I can click down here and actually make a 25 and we'll see what it looks like. Cool, looks pretty good for a whistle for me. Um, now we can look back at our whistle object here and work out our next step. So, ear has to go through, meaning it has to be hollow. Now, to hollow this out should be relatively easy. If we click on, go to our tools up here, and create is generally creating a new thing, and modify is generally modifying something existing. And this is an existing object, so we'll modify it. If we click down here, we get heaps of options, and if we hover over them, they tell us what they are. Now, I don't even need to click there, because I can see the shell is at the top there, and it tells me when it pops up that it'll hollow an object out. So I'll click on shell. Now if I click here, what it'll do is it'll hollow from that edge. But I know that wind wants to go in here, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to cancel that and I'm going to shell from that edge there. Click three millimeters, that means that that's going to be three millimeters thick, but let's make it two, see what it looks like. And then make it one and see what one looks like. One looks maybe a little bit thin. Two looked a little bit thick, so I can go 1.5, and looks pretty good to me actually. So I'll click OK on that, and I've got access for the wind to go through the hole, 
and around this chamber. Now it should be hollow all the way through the thing, but I need somewhere for the wind to come out. If I look at my diagram, I see just on the other side of the circle is an exit hole. So I'm gonna this time, I'm gonna show you a new, new method. I'm gonna create a sketch, click on this top part because that's where I want my hole to be. Two point rectangle. I'm gonna draw a rectangle just on here. And this is for my wind to come out. Now I haven't drawn it very well because it's closer to this edge than it is to this edge. So if I press D, and I, so D means distance, and I click this line and that line, that's two millimeters. I'm happy with that. And I might click this line, this line, and I might make that two millimeters too. Now I know that it's nice and even in the middle. The hole goes through into there. It's pretty good. Looks like I can make it even a little bit wider, so I'll just drag it out a bit. And I'll click finish sketch. Now the next step is to click extrude, click on the rectangle, and pull it through. Right, the extruding, I could go either way, I can get it right out like that, or I can go through and it'll cut into my whistle. So I click OK on the cut and check it out. I've got a whistle with a cut inside. Um, so that should work. Air will go in here, around the chamber, out here. Now it looks like, I don't know anything about whistles, but it looks like you need a little ball in there. It says this is a cork ball compressed and pushed through the hole. I don't have any cork balls, so what we're going to try and do is 3D print a little ball inside, and then once it prints, we'll break it off the bottom, and then it'll rattle around in there. I have no idea if this will work, but let's give it a go. I'll go create. A sphere, which is a circle, a ball, sorry, and let's put it on the inside. So I'm not going to click these orange panes now. In fact, let's do it up here. So you know, I'm going to click on the inside of that one there, and I'll put it right in the middle. And make our ball eight millimeters. Now what it's done is it's actually tried to cut through our whistle. So we're going to just scrap that and we're going to make it a new body. And so we've got a ball there. Now it's poking through the side, but that's just uh, an accident, but we can fix that afterwards. Um, you can choose any number here that you want and that'll choose the size of the ball. And you might want to experiment with a different size and see if your whistle works better than what I've come up with. I'll click OK on that. And now to move my ball for 3D printing, I'm going to click on it. And I wonder if I can click on the top of my ball. No, I'll click on it. Cancel it. Plus out of that. Maybe not. That's better. Now I've got the ball. I'm going to move it down into my whistle. Now, I'm going to just try and make it as close to the top as possible. Change that to say four millimeters, and it should be just touching the base of my whistle, and it'll print joined to that. I'm going to click OK on that, and I've got a whistle with a ball inside. We'll print it, and we'll see if it works. Um, you can change any of the sizes on your whistle to see if you get to do a better job than me, and um, yeah, we'll see how we go.